friends welcome back to my channel Sass here oh yes I'm here for a quick little video breaking news news uh, you can't use Joe okay got a little couple of stories for you and plus I missed y'all I have neglected y'all <laughs> and I have missed y'all but don't worry I'm gonna make it up I will be on Foolery Friday tomorrow and I got some things to say yes I do honey Freak Neek <laughs> and other things, but anyway, we'll save that for tomorrow. But today, we will be talking about some arrest, love after lockup. But this um, story first is, as I said, breaking news, and it has to deal with Mocha. We know Mocha, Mocha is Michael's, um, you know. Uh, music producer, homeboy, confidant, you know, that mocha. His birthday, the, the, the name that, uh, his birth name is uh, Lydell Birch. Okay. So, Mocha was doing an own live interview. And trust me, okay, I'm going to leave everything in the description box okay i'm gonna leave the link to the online um to the live interview and i'm also gonna leave a link to michael's page and where he puts up this um story so while mocha was on the live interview talking to Lord lucan okay you could tell in the footage during the interview that Mocha is like looking off in like the distance a little bit like he always looks off so you can tell he really wasn't that comfortable in my opinion in um, the, the interview something was going on so while the interview was going on you know, Mocha jumps up. He's obviously startled, okay? He jumps up. There's some type of um, commotion. And behind Mocha is a television. And if you pause it, you can see a male, not Mocha, but you can see a male standing there in what appears to be a doorway or whatever. You can see a male there. Well, the, um, he goes off, like the, the, the interview's gone, you know, Mocha, signal, that's all that is, is just dead, so. Then, uh, Michael, which is Montana Mills on his Instagram, so, then Michael, um, was posting things on his stories. Justine had posted some prayer hands. And then Michael posted this um, on um, his page. I'll read it what he said. He says, for those who think this ish is a game, at Mocha Blast was attacked on a live interview last night where he was forced to draw his um, weapon Bang Bang and K-I-L-L, -L, The Intruder. Free Mocha Blast. Um, hashtag Free Mocha Blast. Hashtag Self um, Defense. So, what I'm going to do now, because Michael also attached the news um, story um, to go with... Um, the story about Mocha, so I'm gonna let you listen to that. Investigation does continue. Sasha. Ryan, you can see behind me this scene is still very active as police continue this situation here, this uh, investigation rather here near Buffalo and Ulta in this neighborhood. Now they say that this happened just a few hours ago. They got a call around 6.45 this evening, a woman saying her boyfriend had shot another man inside their home. Now when they arrived on scene, police found a man shot and killed in the backyard. The woman's boyfriend was taken into custody. Police tell us before this shooting, the man who was killed got into an argument with the woman outside and beat several cars in the driveway with a baseball bat then kicked the door in to get into the home 
Right now, this does appear to be an isolated incident. Uh, this is not a random act of violence. These two parties obviously knew one another, in my opinion, based on what I preliminary know right now. There is no one outstanding as it pertains this uh, this incident. And so that's it. You heard the recording, what the news um, caster said, what the officer said. So we will um, stay on top of this story. And again, I will update you um, tomorrow, fully Friday, if something new um, comes out of this. But either way, I'm going to update you because, baby, let me tell you something. When I was looking at that interview and he jumped up and I seen that figure and that commotion, I was like, oh, oh my God, what has happened? So, whew. anyway, y'all, let's move on. Nicole. Y'all remember Nicole, child. Nicole, Deontay's Nicole. Nicole, who was married to Tia. I don't even think they're even together anymore. Um, I think they had a big breakup sometime last year. I think there was some, you know, substance abuse going on. Okay? Because, honey, Nicole, during th this much, y'all. Nicole's going through some things, y'all. Nicole looks rough, all right? And that is obviously somebody's wig, okay? That is a wig that she done found on somebody's floor. Honey, that's a shake and go, a go, a go wig. So obviously Nicole is, is going through something. Again, this is from Starcasm. According to jail records, Nicole was arrested in Newport News just after midnight on Tuesday. She was booked on a charge of possession of a Schedule 1 or Schedule 2 control substance. Possession of a Schedule 1 or a Schedule 2 drug is a Class 5 felony in the great state of Virginia. Oh, Nicole. Again, obviously, Nicole is going through something. Now, it has been reports after reports after reports that, um, you know, Nicole was a um, stripper. You know, she's doing a little dancing for some money. No shame. No judgment here, honey. You do what you got to do. Okay? Okay. Also, that there is word on the curb that she um, has a sugar daddy that, um, you know, takes care of her. And Nicole, I wish you nothing but the best, child. I hope you can um, get yourself together. Uh, again, I don't think her and Tia are together anymore because Tia lives, um, from what I remember, Tia lives in Roanoke, Virginia, okay? And it says that she was arrested in Newport News, so uh, I, I don't think they're, they're together anymore. So again, I believe that, um, well, it ain't believe there's some substances going on, so. Child, that's it. Okay, that's my little quick video to tell y'all hello. Okay, I missed y'all and I will most definitely, most definitely see you all tomorrow for what? Foolery Friday! Yeah! I hope y'all have a fantastic, fantastic day. And don't forget y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Because, son, I want to know what y'all got to say about these stories. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends, bye.